Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna print this very specific shape onto a matching cutter, matching cookie, which I created the cookie cutter. <clears throat> and the first thing I did when I brought it over into Bartender was I came here and I uh, cropped it so that I got as close as possible to the sides. And then I went under sizing and using my handy dandy calipers, I measured my cookie for the width and for the height and plugged those in. And then just to be sure, I'm working on the extra large um, sassy tray template. And I know that I put it on my cutter, my cookie, on one, two, the third line down. And then on the bottom, it's on the line right before the three. So if I look here on the sassy tray, there's the one, two, three, and it's on the line right there. And on the top, it's one, two, three. And then I can kind of look here, and I know it's a little bit outside the line here. And right there, it's just touching that one little um, dot in that corner. And if I look here, it's very close to that. Even with all of that, what I like to do is do a test print to make sure that it's 100% on. And I use the Sassy Topper tray. If you don't, if you use the Sprinkle tray or the Milton tray, this same um, procedure and technique works. You may not have um, the added thing that I have with the template and the lines and everything on here, um, but this is just my method. So then I'm gonna go up under print. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell it fast draft, and that's just cause I'm doing a test print. And I'm only gonna print, the, I'm gonna print this one a little bit darker than I normally would because I, um, it's a very light print. And I'm gonna say print and send it to my printer. And <clears throat> I did put in Canva, I put a slight line around it so that it would show up because since it's glass, it might not show up all that well. And then after we print this test print, I use this, um, Oops, you know what, I think I told it to print more than one, which is okay, I'm just gonna turn it off. Um, <clears throat> but then, uh, using, so there's my, there's my test print, and I'm gonna put this little piece of waffle paper on top of it, and then I'm gonna put the cookie on top of that, and make sure it all lines up. And the way I make sure it all lines up, and again, this is an added step that you may or may not wanna do, is I go around this cookie with my edible marking pen so that I know, it's hard, really hard to do this one-handed, so that I know that I've got the right sizes. And most of the time I end up adjusting it again and and that's just part of the process for me. I can't do it one-handed, but let me show you. So basically I go around it and it'll tell me how close I am and if I need to adjust anything. And then I will take the same cookie, put it right back on here, and I'll put it right back on the printer and print it. And the way I justify this extra steps is I want precision, precision printing. And I would have spent this much time if I was hand piping this cookie. So I spend the same amount of time or sometimes more, sometimes a little bit less, depending upon the size, to get it exactly right.